This is A game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I am your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So we're talking about why Black women always get cheated on, okay? Because that's one of their main complaints. Black men cheat too much. Black men are always cheating on us, you know, and this is why we fly off the handle and this is why we always have these problems in our relationship. But I'm going to play a video with you, maybe two at some point, but I'm going to play a video opening up. It's about a minute and a half or something like that, almost two minutes long about a man explaining why they cheat. And then I'm going to come back with my perspective on it. So give me a moment. Let me go ahead and share the screen. I was considering them and you know, I had it up. I had three or four women on the roster and I was considering them and you know, I ended up going with you. Right. And the reason I ended up going with you was based on what you showed me. Right. When we was going on dates, you were super fun to be around. Conversation was engaging. We would kick it and, you know, have sex very, very, very frequently. I didn't even have the energy to go out there and do nothing else because you was draining me every time. We, could, You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, this is exactly what I need. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm ready to bow out of the game. And then we get into the relationship and it dies down. Right. So we was having sex four or five times a week, you know, when we was in the dating stage, but now we had a, a serious relationship and it's two times a month, three times a month. Right. So as a man, you, you, you come to your girl cause men don't just go out there and cheat just right out the gate. Men will communicate the fact, Hey, babe, what's going on? Like, it's not, it's not what it was. And you know, a lot of women will say, Oh, okay, uh, I'm, I'm going to fix it. Or they'll just get, just, just get super defensive and blame it on you as to the reason why it's not happening. Right. And, and men, like we so used to getting the blame that we just going to take that. And, you know, all right, cool. Uh, you saying you ain't giving it up because I'm not romantic. OK, cool. So men going to take that. Go go back to the drawing board. All right. I'm about to be super romantic. About to go out. OK, what's a favorite restaurant? We going there. I'm going to buy an outfit for it. I'm going to set up some massages. I'm going to take on a trip. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Right. And he does that. And the sex picks up for about a week or two. And then life gets in the way again. Right. Like she's having rough times at work, whatever the case may be, you know, just not in the mood or whatever. And, you know, kind of dies down again. Right. And then this cycle just repeats and repeats and repeats until finally it's like, you know what, man. I'm about to just go get it from elsewhere. OK, so you heard the young man talk about. Uh, what a man is thinking when he's going through these different changes before he gets to getting his needs met elsewhere. Because what he was talking about wasn't just this wanton, I'm lusting after everybody, so I got to get every woman in the bed, whether I'm in a relationship or not. He was talking about a man who consistently is not getting his needs met in a relationship. And this is why y'all always get cheated on. Because the majority of the time, it isn't just this guy that you with and that, you know, he's just, uh, you know, he's just for the streets. You know what I'm saying? And, and if he is for the streets, you knew that. You had to know that. Anyway, there is a process. And I don't want to hear no back talk because women know it's a process because y'all talk about that process when we talk about how women cheat. When we start talking about why women cheat and how they get to that point, we always go through a process. Well, it was this thing happening in a relationship first and then it snowballed into this and then it turned into that. And then I didn't feel pretty or I didn't feel validated or and then I met another man that, you know, made me feel wanted and 
he gave me the attention my husband wasn't giving me and blah 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 blah. and then it just happened and then i just had sex with him and then it was a so we understand needs not getting met and then getting met elsewhere so before anybody cap boop knock it off before it happened now a lot of y'all play the bait and switch what what he was also talking about was the bait and switch the chameleon the woman who comes up and knows that if she play a certain type of feminine position then she's going to attract a man that wants to be married to her the, the that type of man and not just a dude for the streets she's gonna attract the type of man that's looking for long-term or committed relationships so y'all know how to play the feminine role y'all know how to be you know i'm gonna be fun and i'm gonna be the sex kitten and i'm gonna be you know what i'm saying i'm going to be all of these sorts of things to him i'm going to do all of these sorts of things for him i'm gonna cater to him uh we it, you know i'm just i'm not never gonna have really too much to say in in terms of making an argument i'm gonna not make too many waves you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna make it where it's fun to be with me all the time and he ain't really having no problems you you hide your trouble basically you do your best to hide your trouble and your threat from him now men that don't have as tough as a vetting system will go for that they'll be tricked into that they'll be lulled to sleep because of that because of your chameleon games because you changed colors every time he looked over you was a pleasant color you see what i'm saying but the bait and switch happens because y'all consider marriage to be an unbreakable contract unless you break it first see and i said this before the lead up to the marriage to the wedding is the job interview after the wedding is when the job starts and somewhere along the line there's a disconnect with y'all where y'all feel like your job is done after he slide that ring on your finger and y'all say i do then you get to flip the switch as if divorces aren't something that is possible or it's not possible for him to leave you this is a lot of y'all problem you feel like got him as soon as he commit or as soon as he gives you the signal that he want to commit or as soon as any time that happens y'all think gotcha i got you i got you in my grasp now that i've got you in my grasp now i can act a fool i was cool all up until getting the commitment out of you i was good to you enough to get the commitment out of you now that i got the commitment out of you that's why the vast majority of y'all would not marry a man outside of the legal bounds because that's part of it that's part of your threat it's got to be legal because that's the only way that the trap is truly ensnares him because you have to have your legal hooks so you have to be able to have zaddy's hooks in him as well okay you play coy long enough to get the commitment once you got the commitment it was like oh well i can turn up now now i'm about to turn up now i'm about to act a fool now i'm about to give you my butt to kiss and i'm going to show out on you now because i've got you now and what y'all figure is y'all got his heart and y'all got him wrapped around y'all finger and y'all got him so caught up in you and loving you that you're gonna be able to act a fool in this relationship and you know black women know that black men will make more effort to keep the relationship together than she's going to make mainly because he has put more investment into the relationship so therefore he has more of an incentive to try to make the relationship work now the here's where your threat come in because he knows that there are a couple of things happening he has placed a personal investment in you emotionally spiritually and mentally in this relationship but the threat now is that if we leave and if i have something for her to take whether that be children whether that be money or is that anything that she can use over me now as a weapon now she's gonna wield it so it's in my best interest 
to try to keep this relationship working, to try to maintain this relationship. Y'all know that. So you just act more and more of a fool because you now it's like, well, he going to do everything he can try to keep this relationship together to keep me from pulling the trigger on this threat, to keep me from not taking his kids away, to keep me from not taking him to the cleaners in a divorce or to keep, keep me from the child support game or whatever the case may be. Y'all know that he's going to be more invested in keeping the relationship together if for nothing but those reasons and then you find things to complain about you find things to be mad about in these relationships stuff that he was doing well before y'all got married now all of a sudden now y'all living together y'all been living together y'all been together now all of a sudden with that piece of paper now his behavior is a problem when y'all been together five years y'all been living together for three of them and you've been married for one of them and now all of a sudden it, you know him you know putting his socks by the bed is a problem that you got to complain about now when he been doing that the whole time you didn't mind his socks by the bed when he was tossing them off toss you off see what i'm saying now all of a sudden everything he do is problematic for you now it's a reason to argue now it's a reason to try you go through his phone you go through you know what i'm saying you make problems and when he realizes he cannot correct this issue that he just can't get right with you no matter what then that is when he goes out and gets his emotional and and many times his sexual needs met from a woman that's not that acted like you did before he gave you a commitment and this is why they don't like giving you commitments now because see y'all are forgetting the fact that men talk to each other now in a way that they didn't do 8 10 12 years ago now there's a place on social media where black men gather to talk about this type of stuff. See, 10 years ago, you wouldn't have had a video like that. Where this man is laying it out on the line. This is what men are thinking. This is what they're going through in their minds as they lead up to the, to the final decision of saying, let me, instead of just breaking up everything that I got right here, I have two or three needs that I need to get met. And unfortunately, the woman that I love doesn't find me valuable enough to meet those needs. So I'm going to go to a woman that is not clowning and get those needs met the way that I wish my wife would meet them. See, a lot of times, if you wasn't so recalcitrant and obstinate in these relationships, these men wouldn't go out and get their needs met by other women because you're meeting them and they know you're meeting them to the best of your ability. Anytime they come to talk to you about what's going on in a relationship and how things can be improved and what's going on with him and he know he can talk to you, he know you're going to try to, to resolve it without making him the bad guy, without throwing it back on him to say, well, it's your fault that I'm acting this certain type of way. But y'all are too busy thinking that it's levels to his masculinity or something. Where, you know, because you think it's levels to femininity. Your femininity is conditional and you kind of think to a certain degree, men's masculinity is conditional. So you plan on doing some changes and some switching after the commitment and then you think he's supposed to do it. And it doesn't work that way. You think it go like this. I got one more to show you and before we cut this off. My bad. Hit the wrong button. But I want to share this with you. When I used to work with women as a confidence coach and they would be complaining to me about their husbands, I would always ask the things that he's doing that bother you. Was he doing that when you all were dating? And almost always they would say, yes, but I thought they would change 
because we got married. And I could never figure out, I'm like, why do women think men will change once they're married? And I think it's this, because as women, we are taught don't do wifey things at a girlfriend level. But I don't think men are operating in that mindset. Like I've heard men say that they, they have to show up 100% from the beginning. And so once you get married, usually women, it seems like women are looking at them like, okay, well, why aren't you better? Why aren't you doing more? And the man is like, what do you mean? You knew me, you dated me, this is who I am. And the woman's like, well, I activated wifey level. Why haven't you activated husband level? And listen, I'm not saying either side is right or wrong. I'm saying there's a disconnect. Sorry. And that's what y'all think is going on. Y'all think that's happening. It's not. That's why you get cheated on. Anyway. Sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.